Hi Scorpio, it's Jodie Teresa. I'm back here today to give you a love tarot reading. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to begin by looking into your feelings towards your love interest, then their feelings towards you, the connection between you both and the final outcome. Let's hope for a positive reading. I've no idea what's going to come through. At the end, I will pull on some oracle cards for more insight. Okay, so it is worth sticking around to the end if you want to. Okay, so beginning here by looking into your feelings towards your love interest. Okay, for those born under the zodiac sign of Scorpio, please. What can you tell me about Scorpio's feelings towards their love interest? We've got the Ten of Wands. There's a message alongside the Ten of Wands, Scorpio, to try to find new ways to do things. And this is showing a heck of a lot of passion here on your part and a lot of determination. However, things don't need to be a challenge. Things don't need to be hard or difficult. Okay, please tell me more. How does Scorpio feel about their love interest, please? I've got the Eight of Cups in search of this missing cup, seeking emotional satisfaction. This is showing me that you're quite deeply emotionally invested in this person. Um, let's clarify, please clarify. Page of Pentacles. Um, you're quite confident here that there is an opportunity between you both. Please tell me more. Now together I've got the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. They've landed like this. So. Scorpio, this is showing a lot going on within your life. And again, a heck of a lot of determination here. Um, I feel like you're determined to move to a better place. I feel like it's more on a practical level. So whether it is, you know, getting your finances in order, um, your home, it's definitely more practical. Um, we've also got jump here together. I know we already had the page of pentacles. So on top of the page of pentacles, I've got the queen of pentacles. Um... Seeing here a lot of planning on your part and patience. Seeing a lot of patience here on your part too. Clarifying the Eight of Cups. So you're actually seen there to be seeking emotional fulfillment and emotional satisfaction through the practical things in life, which is really, I would say, not uncommon for you guys. You know, um, when it comes to finances, home, business, projects, um, that's what I can see you to be more focused on at present. <clears throat> Had a card jump randomly on its own, the Page of Cups. Um, so again, showing you here to be to some extent emotionally invested in this person. Please tell me more about how Scorpio feels about this person, please. Their love interest. Okay, together I've got the Hermit, also known as Virgo, alongside the Six of Cups. And I have the Strength card, also known as Leo. So you're seen here to be going with what feels right to you, which is always the best thing to do anyway. As long as we've got logic coming into the situation too. Um, so you're seen here to be going with what feels right to you. Again, heavily emotionally invested now in this person. For some reason, you're calling in on your inner strength. So for courage, fortitude, or just, you know, what it says on the tin, like some, some strength. Okay, feels pretty deep. And again, that's not uncommon for you guys either, is it? So seeing depth of emotion there on your part, a lot of determination, very focused in on the more practical side of life. And a lot going on for you there with that two of pentacles. It's like you're trying to remain on your own two feet while focusing in on something more practical and stable coming around for you. Okay, moving into their feelings towards you. Give the cards a little cleanse. How does this person feel about Scorpio, please? 
How does this person feel about Scorpio, please? Oh, we've got the Wheel of Fortune. They feel like it's destined or fated. Uh, this is down to what they believe. So their belief, showing a lot of faith, showing a lot of faith here on their part that things are supposed to be. Please tell me more. How does this person feel about Scorpio, please? They've got the Three of Swords. This is the card of like upset or hurt. Now that's both on a mental and an emotional level here. Please tell me more about this Three of Swords. We've got the Lovers. The Lovers card, also known as the Zodiac Sign of Gemini. Please tell me more. <clears throat> And we've got the two of cups. Okay, Scorpio, this person, I'm not fluffing up the reading. As you can see, it's the cards that I've got. Um, this person is coming through as being deeply emotionally invested in you. Um, they feel there is a connection there. They feel like it is destined and yet they're feeling hurt. So I will move into any issues that may need to be addressed. Um, but for now, looking into their feelings, they are deeply invested on an emotional level okay into the connection between you both this should be interesting so looking now into your connection cards what can you tell me please about the connection between these two what can you tell me about the connection between these two please two of wands fantastic first card that identifies as a lot of respect That would indicate to me as a reader that the connection between you is beneficial. Please tell me more. We've got the Chariot card, also known as the Zodiac sign of Cancer. <clears throat> Getting strength surrounding that card, and it's not the strength card. There's a lot of faith coming through in the Chariot too. Please tell me more. Can you tell me about the connection between these two, please? Can you tell me about the connection? Two of Swords, and I'm going to ask one more time. We've got the Two of Wands, Chariot, Two of Swords. Please tell me more about the connection between these two, please. And we've got the King of Swords. There is what is seen here to be a very, very strong mental connection between you both. Okay, very strong mental connection. That can be to the point of, how can I explain it? It is not necessarily like being able to read each other's minds, but it's like a, not telepathic, not a telepathic connection. It's more spiritual. There's more of a spiritual connection here coming through. Because it's the higher self of both of you. <clears throat> now, to be able to, you know, label this as soulmate, past life, sacred, twin flame is without specific cards. If there was lots of cards to say, right, uh, that is a twin flame, then I would say it. I'm not going to say, you know, this is a... A twin flame past life connection but I'm going to say with the cards that I've got you've got a very strong mental connection between you that is relating there to a spiritual connection of some sorts it's very very strong to have this chariot card here that's the strongest card that I've got on the table and there's a lot of respect coming through between you both with the two of wands okay so overall the connection came through as beneficial to you both um any issues that may need to be addressed? Are there any issues, please, that between these two that may need to be addressed? That two of Pentacles. Please tell me more. The Three of Wands. Please tell me more. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Page of Cups. Okay, somebody needs to express feelings or emotions even if it's ever so small 
the page of cups is not like an individual who would express a great big grand gesture of love um two of pentacles here showing a lot of busyness so just a heck of a lot of things going on and we've got that three of wands coming through and as to how it's landed this distance here between you both indicated uh, physical distance emotional distance or both and the way it's landed is telling me there's not going to be immediate or even near future action being taken okay so this to me would be if action is being taken it's going to be in some some time to come please tell me more about the three of wands king of swords I feel like this is connecting to very direct face-to-face -face communications here involving feelings and emotions. However, it is, as I say, pretty way off with that three of wands. Okay. Life here getting in the way of, well, not getting in the way, life happening with that two of pentacles. A lot of busyness, a lot of things going on in the background um, is coming into the mix. We've then got feelings needing to be expressed and distance needing to be overcome. <clears throat> okay. Would I say there was any action you could take there, Scorpio? Didn't necessarily show me, you know, anything for me to, to be able to suggest to you. Oh, I feel like you could do this or you could do that. Um, if anything, I just feel like things may come into fruition further further down the line okay final outcome here for you today Scorpio what is the final outcome here please what can Scorpio expect to be happening between themselves and this person what can Scorpio expect to be happening please okay just as I said that we've got the two of wands so having that respect for each other with that two of wands coming through. We've got the seven of pentacles, which comes alongside the message you reap what you sow. Now there is some type of, again, um, waiting period. This person is waiting for things to grow, waiting for things to come into fruition. And we have here the queen of swords, the queen of the element of air. So sword of truth being held here being spoken queen of swords queen of air she can be very very cutting with her words so she can either you know speak honestly and they be really nice kind words or she can also speak honestly and they be really harsh not very nice words uh, it is obviously connected to emotion and to truth um so <sighs> overview here between you both I'm repeating myself with the word respect, but it's true with that two of wands coming through. Overview of this reading is you're both coming through here to be having a lot of respect towards each other. Seven of pentacles, um, waiting for harvest, waiting for things to come into fruition. And the queen of swords here, very open, honest, face-to-face -face communication. Please clarify the queen of swords. We've got the Five of Cups. Relating here to some type of regret, I feel like this is on both parts. So if I don't get that it's on your side, then I get that it's on theirs. If I don't get it, that it's on theirs, it's usually on yours. If I don't get that it's on both, it's usually for both. Um, so Five of Cups here relating to both of you, the energy in this card. There's regret coming through with the Five of Cups. There is the need here, there is a message alongside this card to remain optimistic when it comes to the future and not to focus too much on the past and what's been and what's gone. Okay, so let's close off with some oracle messages. I will take this reading into an extended looking further into this person's intentions towards you, looking deeper into their feelings and seeing if I can dig a little bit deeper into more as to what you can expect to be happening. 
Now for the oracle messages here to close off the reading, if you're in no contact, I will ask for any messages for you from this deck. But I'd like to begin with my custom cards. Any messages here, please, for Scorpio? Okay, I only want you. Please tell me more. Look out for signs. So look out for signs as in, you know, songs, conversations being overheard, numbers, synchronicities. You guys are pretty intuitive anyway. So if something happens or you see something and you go and it catches your attention and then you specifically at that point think about what that's related to that is your intuition bringing through what that sign is okay because you can search the internet all day long for you know why do I keep seeing the number one or the number three or 33 or something like that and you're going to get a million answers on the internet the best thing to do with you know seeing signs is to go with what you got in that moment Okay, into the no contact cards. So for those of you who are not in contact with your love interest, romantic partner, I wish I treated you better. I wish I treated you better. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I wish I treated you, I wish I had treated you better. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. And closing off with my Archangel Michael deck, as always. <clears throat> Any messages here for Scorpio, please? Any messages, please, for Scorpio? You've got guarded and protected. Now, Scorpio, I'm going to read the prayer and guidance aloud here. It's then entirely up to you if you wish to read this within prayer or to follow the guidance. Thank you for protecting my loved ones and me, ensuring that we're safe and that all of our needs are met. I now accept your help gratefully and gracefully, knowing that it's right for me and all others to accept heavenly assistance. Okay, so as I say, uh, for Patreons, I'm taking this into the extended. If you're not yet with me on Patreon and you'd like to look into it, the link will be available below. It's less than the price of a coffee these days, a uh, monthly payment of a coffee. And um, with that, you'll have access to all my extended reads and you'll receive all of my readings that I upload early. So I hope this has helped. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Lots of love and bye for now.